All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another stream of Buddha and Zionix. We need to get a like a title or something. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, I'm a little surprised that you don't try to work in um, what well, we titled it anyway. So it's sort of like, welcome to the thousand years of peace or welcome to the catharsis through carnage or something like that. Seems like that'd be a better intro. Uh, it, it could be, least. but I don't always title the YouTube videos the same. Because no. uh, at the start, what I think is going to happen isn't always what actually happens. Yeah, we fought the Berlin Wall and the Berlin Wall broke us. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Anyways, so I started the stream in this page. I'm going to show this off. I worked hard on this. Um, this is the new follower notification. So... And I wanted to show it to y'all and Buddha since he hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> I worked hard on Don't that. Don't ask what that he likes to <laughs> to peruse. <laughs> so much better than a little animal sp or slapping some titties. <laughs> I'll probably use that for the sub notification once we <laughs> once we unlock it. But <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe that's some solid snake right now. Yeah, there's some solid snake. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I need a Sarkeesian on that one. How come it's so hard to see a man's butt in video games? <laughs> because you're playing the wrong video games, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, as um, it's basically clip notes of what happened last time. Um, we started a new game on Immortal after the humiliation that was our defeat at the hands of Berlin. And Zionix was all scared that he was going to end up as the Spanish again, but I ended up as the Zulus again. I mean, I, I, I figured it was 50-50. I was going to get Spain again. Turns out it was 50-50. You were going to get the Zulus. Mm -hmm. well, one of us was going to get um, something we'd already the same fucking sieve. I, yeah. I, I just had a feeling. Anyways, so over here down is uh, Marrakech. This was Morocco's capital. We started the assault here. Um, if you can start on the capital, you want to start on the capital. Um, working your way towards the capital gives them time to build up and to strengthen where doing a sneak attack on the capital, generally it's you go from stronger cities to weaker cities. And which is really handy because you're gonna lose units. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up with and Fez and Zionix is greedy. He decided that he wanted to take Casablanca and Fez. We ended up burning down Rabat, and I got the capital. <clears throat> Technically, Buddha could have kept Rabat, but he didn't want it. No. Me, I like uh, I like puppets. They they provide good bonuses. Well you were the one who was at like 20 happiness when this started. I was at like seven. So yeah, I'm not going to be picking up no cities that don't give unique resources. That's just going to end up burning me like happens from time to time. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm currently at 10 happiness, but that should be, should be good for a while. Got my salts. Unfortunately, um, since we started on such a small continent, um, well, small being. Don't blame brother. us. Blame the randomization of the fractal setting. Yeah. The uh, since we started on such a small continent, um, we don't have any other computers besides obviously the, the city states to trade with. So for the foreseeable future, we're on our own. Hence the thousand years of peace. Yeah. It probably won't be a thousand years. We're what, 475 AD? It might yeah, be 500 no. years apiece. It just doesn't roll off the tongue. 500 years apiece, a thousand years apiece. No, that's true. It does not roll off the tongue. And at the moment, I'm just floating around the continent trying to get a feel for everything. I didn't realize at the time that uh, Buddha had a trireme near the south, so... 
Yeah, one of my uh, cargo ships ended up getting spanked somehow, so... You went down there to go find out what happened? Yeah, and it looks like the city took care of it, but not before it allowed my cargo ship to get plundered. Yeah. But we conquered the south. Sionx got the north end. And so if I can get rid of this little encampment that I'm already sending my horsey to, the cargo ship should be completely safe for at least the next hundred turns or so. Yeah, we just Question need to is, be careful of these uh, barbarian camps like this guy right here that show up on the coast. Because they have about a... It's like a 50-50 chance that they spawn boats instead of land units. Yeah. Um, I have this. We won't of... oh, go ahead. be in trouble until we discover astronomy because it's when you get caravels that you get deep sea uh, shipping. So, yeah, no. Our cargo ships should be safe as long as we keep our eyes on the coastline. <laughs> Which shouldn't be too awful hard. We don't have a very big continent. Well. I mean... It's kind of tall, but it's not really... We, we don't go from pole to pole, that's for sure. Uh -huh. It looks like we might be connected to the South Pole. Of course it's Pikeman. But as soon as uh, we get... Gallius is done. I'm thinking I'm gonna make one of those puppies and... We're going to clear out some of these barb camps that have been staying down here with impunity. Yeah, I guess technically, you can send your horsemen down there. Yeah, that's what I'm working towards right now. Yeah, you know, I got a pathfinder right there. Maybe I'll get lucky and find ancient ruins. Wouldn't be surprised. RNG Jesus has been showing some love. I can get Hagia Sophia. Nice. Do you have the engineer? No. And I don't care for Hagia Sophia, so. Mm. And I'm about to say, um, I'm not sure I'd be going for wonders at this point in time. Well, I'm just looking at my capital. I'm running low on stuff to make because I'm not going to build the shrine. Caravansary, I guess, is a bit of a gimme, especially since I've already, well, five turns until the compass is done. So, yeah, I'll have things to do then. Uh, now let's do the garden. I mean, 25% great person generation. Uh-huh. Right, or 50, I forget what it is. Uh, 25. Ormus is racist and doesn't like the Shoshone anymore. Mm-mm. That's right. He wants a... Uh, I think he said he wanted a trade route. Uh, yeah, he wants a trade route, so... Uh, as soon as... Um, one of my trade routes finishes up... Go ahead and... Go to sleep. Uh, unit distribution. Damn it, Mayor Keck, why couldn't you have built your capital on the coastline? That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been. Alright, do you want any help with that camp up there? or? Eh, I'll send my horsemen up there. Those pikes are gonna... Oh. Yeah, no, that's part of... Yeah, no, please. Help! Help, motherfucker, help! Yeah, I'm gonna leave my trireme there. Um, and just in case, because I really don't want him shooting out another boat. Excuse me, uh, Leventa! Can you get the fuck out of my way? Make the National College now. That's good. Yeah, I actually started on mine last night in my capital. That'll be tasty. Turns out my happiness was a 
a little more precarious than I initially thought. You are porcelain cotton, you're no good. Porcelain wine. I don't have wine. Kong is gems and jewelry. Hmm. So we only have one source of jewelry, but unfortunately it comes with gems, which both of us have. Hmm. You take a nap. Head out. Give me. Thank you, Laventa, for getting out of my way. I appreciate it. You go to sleep. Alright, so. Oh. So that's why. Oh, you're taking care of it. Thanks. Shoot too much. Get go. Get go. So my most profitable trade routes are going to be from a Gaika. So that's where I want the East India Trading Company. And. Fortunately, I'm a little dependent on my city-states for happiness. I've dropped to three since Hong Kong. It's no longer BFF, so I'm going to build a Coliseum. It's a delicate balance when you, you know, you're just kind of chilling. Uh -huh. I mean, might as well take care of this guy while I'm here. He shouldn't be able to plop out anybody else. Ugh. But I do want... Oh, wait, no. We're still two turns away from the Gallius. I can't buy one of those yet. <clears throat> yep. So I definitely want to take care of this little barbarian outcropping here. Oh, that's right. I need to mute the audio. <laughs> I found out last night after uh, I uploaded uh, last night's stream onto the YouTubes that Sid Meier's Civilization V licensed several pieces of music that play in the background. <laughs> this isn't unheard of. Video games license music all the time. I, however, was... In-game music. Yeah, I was under the impression that the music was original. I was wrong. <laughs> so well, it turns just out... just one of those things that I figured if you play and, like, broadcast a game like Civilization, okay, here's the music that's part of it, so you can play or listen to it while playing. No, 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 I guess that's only for personal usage. Alright, and I'm ready to start down the exploration tree. He popped out a tri rain. I see him.
Alright. Looks like my work here is done. Thanks for the help. Mm -hmm. Another goddamn boat. Oh, over on the right? Uh, no, near uh, Marrakech. I killed off the two boats that were there, then all of a sudden there's another boat. Yeah, well, and where I'm standing, this uh, camp shouldn't be able to put anything other than boats out. So, eventually I'll yeah. kill it, but... <clears throat> God, I sure hope I find some ruins down here. It'd be so badass if I could get another super or super archer. Having archers that can move like scouts super handy to have. Mm -hmm. uh -oh, the hand axe took a swipe at me. Alright, so I need to trade wrapped to Ormus. Take a Can you make it to Ormus yet? Can't make it. Alright, you go to Gecko. There. Galleus. You run your happy ass down to Fez. Uh, boats. Oh, there's the boat. Neat. Alright, well, um... I'm not sure it's meaningful for me to continue down this particular path. No. I guess having another boat down there to make sh Yeah, looks like you got that handled, huh? I don't know if another trireme down there would be meaningful. Think so. I mean, he's halfway there. I can send him there if you want, or I can bring him home. The one to the south? Well, I have a trireme north of Ulundi that I just used to Oh, Maybe. I would keep him up there. Right. I guess I'll pull into um and for repairs. Speaking of which, I'm sending a great person to, uh, or a great merchant to. Malacca to improve my friendship. Okay. And get me mini. Now, Malacca. Malacca's a good one. I mean, we have a finite number of um, city states. The unfortunate thing is, the only quest this guy has right now is marble. I don't have a good way to get marble. Hello, Hagia Sophia. I was thinking about wasting turns on you. Technically, I like could great general marble, but I don't got a great general. Alright, this hand axe is not gonna let me leave me in peace. Yeah, if you could send those crossbowmen south, I had to run away from that hand axe. Okay. Go ahead and heal up. Go to Ormus. Uh 
Alright. Does anyone else want to trade up besides Ormos? Nope, no, it's just a matter of uh, most valuable naval trade routes. Head down to go shoot. You sit tight, you're not getting in the water. Tell that island is clear. That's yours. Yep. <clears throat> With all this wilderness and wide open area. Looks like there's a sizable group of fuckers down there. Who are also on the coast. So that would explain the seemingly limitless number of Boats on the earth side. Yeah. Right. I want you to go ahead and heal up. Alright. Definitely give me another cargo ship. I always want more money. Go shoot. You need a harbor. So we can get you on the, the trade network. Though I have a suspicion the, the international highway will start soon. Mm -hmm. Once our workers are done fixing everything, <coughs> they're going to decide it's time to start spending money. Well, unlike you, I'm still maintaining control of all my workers. Probably should have. Also, you. In this unfortunate spot, all things considered. Considering I just walked past it. You need help with it? I got an archer scout nearby. No, it should be fine. It's just annoying. Okay, um, 
Well, I guess if you're okay with it, I'm just gonna leave my boat docked at um. Yeah, no, I'm good with that. I mean, the only other option really is to hit E, but I kind of want a boat up there near the north. Yeah. Well, and that's just it is like the reason why I have my trireme or where I left it is because, well, if they're going to spawn a boat, either they're going to have to run into that. And between Wellington and Mabanza Congo, there's literally only one more place up north that they can even make another encampment that would mess with or anything. Yeah. I suppose if we can keep an eye on all the coasts, um, we could probably prevent them from spawning, but nah, there's too much dark coast up there. Yeah, no, just being able to take them out rapidly is all we need, and we always have a barbarian rapid response force. Yeah. That anchor what? Learned our lesson on that one. You want me to kill that for you or leave it alone? Um, I should be able to take it. I'm trying to get back to go shoot to heal, but if the other galley, yeah, no worries. Ooh, that's yours. Mm hmm. Well, that's just it, is I wouldn't be able to get to the other one to kill it first, so might as well kill the one you have in front of you. Yeah. Kind of have to start on the road soon, like you were saying. I mean, it's just going to make moving around so much easier. I know, but it's the cost that I'm skittish to put into it nowadays. Uh, I guess that's true. The since you didn't go liberty, um, you don't have uh, what? Yeah, meritocracy. Liberty, liberty commerce. Has, well, liberty has meritocracy plus one happiness for each city you own connected, and yeah. minus five percent unhappiness. So. For me, roads means happiness. Yeah. For you, roads means ease of travel. And it's part of the reason why I was hoping to be able to do harbors, because if I can do harbors in Alundi and Umgun, then all I have to do is build one road really to Nobama and be fine. But now that I got Marrakech all the way down, yeah. Okay, you should be safe to flee to Marrakech. And flee, I will. Go. Okay, yeah, now that is. So this is one of the big unfortunate aspects of um, the age that we're in right now. And it's part of the reason why I don't make too many horsemen is it's almost like 9 out of 10 times when a barbarian camp it comes into being. It's going to have pikemen. Like, yeah, in which case, you're even if you have knights, you're going to be taking a long time. Oh, speaking of which... My horsemen just trying to take on these spearmen. Yeah. Well, um, suppose my galleus, you can go park your ass over by a geka. Opportunity to 
get some XP and kill these archers. But once I kill this barbarian camera over here, I'll probably use that trireme to do a little bit of manual exploration. Then after that, I probably will just press E on him. Well, there's... Well, my, my end of the world is fully explored. Uh, I mean, you can see... Uh, like, if you go to the tips of everything, you could certainly see... Retro. You know, it's so weird that we're doing this because we used to take as many workers as possible. Now it's just like, eh, return unit. Yeah. You just don't care anymore. Mm hmm. But yeah, no. I can technically make it to some edges and get a little bit better view, but. I have everything deep water. Like I see, I, I've found deep water everywhere. I mean, we knew it, but now I've just confirmed that we are, well, at least on my end of the world, we are in fact deep water isolated. Yeah. Another cargo ship. Or. Now let's start working on the National College. Don't get too far behind on that science, good sir. Oh, that barbarian camp I just killed apparently was a... a mission. Just became allies with both Wellington and Mabonza Congo for it. Actually, now I'm going to see if I can cheese. No, is that a hill? Damn it. Yeah, I'll back off, see what happens. See if that hand axe will somehow magically recapture the worker, in which case then I can free the <laughs> worker again. Exactly. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Little Actually, did you know he work. didn't want to be freed. <laughs> Somebody please capture me. You want me to keep my crossbowman down there? Are you good with taking on that and camming yourself? Um... You could help me, because I need to heal up, and if he shits out a pikeman, I'm just kind of boned. Why didn't you heal in Marrakech? Well, I was really... Oh, you wanted to... to go inside the city. Got it. Well, I, what I really wanted was to... Um... Get... The... I wanted to find an ancient ruin. And since nobody had been down here yet, no, I thought I your boat. Oh, yeah, my boat's healing. Yeah, oh. but I was wondering why you didn't do it in near Marrakech. Because I didn't think about it? Because <laughs> Marrakech is dirty. Yeah, I completely faced that possibility. Oh, it's probably because one of them had it. Got a thing saying that Hong Kong likes me. It's like, why? You got wine. I did. <laughs> uh, if you probably got it from Wellington or Mabanza Congo. I, uh, I got it from Mabanza Congo. Yeah, mm. eh, screw it. Come on. 
Show me some ruins. There might be ruins over here on this uh, island. Odds are Morocco didn't explore over there. Hello, hand axe. And that's exactly what I was worried about. I could just imagine my great general grumbling. Why am I out here on barbarian patrol? What did I do to deserve this? I'm Hamilcar Barca. Why did they send um, Eugene of the Savory over to do this? <laughs> I led the great war against the, Mar the Moroccans. But no, here I am. Barbarian duty. Uh, so beneath me. Right. Uh, I guess How it's time to. Fuck! Did you shit out a horse? <clears throat> Let's go into the city. Take a nap. So the best land trade routes I have are Fez to Malacca. I guess I could build a road up to Umgun. And I could just split off from there. Besides, also, didn't you get Messenger of the Gods? Of course, we're not exactly spreading I get, our... I did get Messenger of the Gods, but Ageka and Timoak are... follow my pantheon. Yeah. Looks like all of your people follow your pantheon. Even though your pantheon literally only affects your capital. I mean, Obama might be following my pantheon. I don't know. I'm not sure... How to check that. You don't. It just says seven followers of Lightning Bolt, so... it's Seven of them are following a Pantheon. And that's actually one of the things that's sort of weird and stupid, though, because it's not like the game all of a sudden goes... Um, oh, you've discovered a religion. Okay. Your followers are now part of the religion. Crossbowmen, show those hand axes their place. Nice. You just one shot the fuckers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there is a great general there, so there's a plus 15, but, or 15%. Oh, no, that is true. But medieval age, ancient era, just sort of, you know. Fun historical and linguis linguistic note. Catapult actually meant uh, pelt piercer or something like that. So, hey, 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 there you go. You just got to survive some horsemen. Yes. I'm on a mission. Mission from RN Jesus. No, oh, of course that pikeman is directly in the way of where my trade route wants to go. Why wouldn't he be? I was going to say, like, <laughs> what better place to be? Of course. You know, you getting in the way makes it hard for me to go kill that barbarian encampment. Sorry. I saw a shiny. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna be sad if I lose Hamilcar. <laughs> You're not gonna lose Hamilcar.
So yeah, it looks like Fez reached up to grab that one salt Casablanca was going to get. Well, if it's in contested territory, you could always shift who has it. Not that that particularly matters. No, it doesn't. It'll just give me, you know, working salt's not going to hurt my feelings any. It'll certainly help Fez and Casablanca. Yes, you get to have the great writer's guild, Merrick Keck. Oh, wow. Five turns for a writer's guild? You got way good mm -hmm. production down there. Currently 29.9. See him, right? No, circle. Yeah. Oi, Obama, you need to have happy people, so build a coliseum. <laughs> then I can work on the circus, Maximus. Now, managing happiness during peace can be alarmingly tricky. Mm hmm. And for those of you who don't know. You can't, you can't overproduce happiness, as it were. So when we, the thing says, hey, you know, this Coliseum adds plus two happiness. If you don't have two unhappy people in that city, you get nothing from it. So, like, I think maybe the, like, Notre Dame gives you plus ten, and that might be a little more global. Yeah, because you have global happiness, and you have local happiness yeah and the uh um yeah uh, all right so as long as i get out of your way you can move your general and your crossbowmen back and they'll be fine right. so i just wanted to make sure i didn't fuck you Good, because I prefer a cigarette <laughs> get fucked. or after. Working that, working that. I'm going to let him finish the harbor first just to see what happens. Use my vast wealth to buy a harbor in Timowak. Mostly because I want these guilds down. I always get torn on the guild just because... Like, it takes so long before you can... It's a great work of music, I think, is what it is. No, yeah, they're just three golden ages. But hey, the look, artist... they spawned a horsey. But we should be getting close to museums. Um, explore. No reachable area to explore at this moment. So my trireme is just enjoying the open seas. Yeah, um, all my boats are just sitting in cities, waiting for the time when they can be useful. Again, I mean, once we get uh, caravels unlocked,
which is about 18-ish turns away, I guess. Yeah. So jewelry and gems, porcelain and cotton. Do we have any active trade deals between me and you? Um, How do you not have salt? Because I gave you salt. Okay, so we do have trade deals. And your other salt deal. and your other salt is burning. Okay. Yep. I got salt. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Oh, that was my own damn fault. Man, this barbarian camp is getting the fuck out of hand. Now I can tr ooh, I can reach Hong Kong from here. Nice. Right. You know, my great general has taken the last two barbarian encampments all by himself. <laughs> Leventa. Uh, they will reward the player with the largest faith growth. So far, you have to lead with 50. <laughs> me? No, me. Oh, I was about to say, um... Okay. There's... Which barbarian camion are you talking Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh, let's uh... switch out of the way. I, I mean, I got them. units there. It's just I lost to. It's just, it's just growing real fucking fast, is all. And I lost a horseman. Which I really don't care that much, but. It was a horseman, and he was mine, damn it. So I will avenge the horseman. Yeah. Now, generally speaking, uh, you're, you got a thing you need to deal with. I didn't see a link. Uh, southeast of Marrakech. Oh. Wow, it's right there. And of course, as soon as I pulled my crossbowman to go help your ass out, it's like, okay, fine. Okay. Use this. Oh. Uh. Discover a great prophet. Like, there's no weapons here. Neither great profit or gold. Or not gold, uh, culture. I guess. Right. It is not guaranteed that you can get weapons. Uh, weapons. Yeah. Right, go shoot. Alright, so. Go ahead and do that. Not the East India Trading Company, but. Go ahead and call a CM just to make sure my happiness stays in check. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, no, it was, it was dumb. I should have thought about that. Like, I literally knew that it couldn't have given me a great profit, that it was going to give me faith. But for some reason, I'm like, ooh, faith. There. Like a dead horsey. You can send your crossbowmen back. I regained control of the situation. That's what I want there. We are 16 turns away from deep sea travel and the Renaissance era. We we might be the first ones to hit the Renaissance era. I don't remember anyone else thus far. Yeah. Um... Well, on top of that, once you, uh, with education, build universities, then we get Oxford University, so we'll both get one free technology. Yeah. Oh, we might be meeting new people with frigates. <laughs> Wonder how many people know the historical significance of that. <laughs> Or the irony, or the irony of doing it as a uh, the Shoshone. And, yeah, as a Native American <laughs> tribe. I mean, it'd be more ironic if you were the Aztecs, but you know. Yeah, that's true. So now, but yeah, no. Apparently, when the Spanish first came to the New World, and the Aztecs saw the the boats, they didn't have any concept of what they were, so they ultimately called them mountains that moved on water. Something akin to that. Yeah. I always figured the ow, oh, you do not. If you could send your crossbowmen south of Nobama to deal with that, that would be swell. No, no, I suppose only... you're planning on killing that horseman with your Pathfinder. I am planning on it. I'm just healing up. It's going to be a slow process. I mean, literally nothing my Pathfinder can do. And I ain't got anything else nearby. As long as I'm careful about it, I should be able to. I just shot out a boat. Oh, okay. Don't know if my trireum's gonna be able to save my cargo ship, though. Oh no! Yeah, it's going to take my Pathfinder a minute to deal with these guys. Now, as long as they're being taken care of is all I really care about. But as soon as I take care of this barbarian camp, and I might embark one of my horsemen and send them over to help. That's 
probably a reasonable precaution to take. Oh, good. You yeah, know, he went the other way. You know, the fun thing is I don't have to ask you what your stats are. I can just hop over to your stream and see what you got. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a wonder that gives you a free trade route. I do? Yeah, you have five trade routes. I only have four. You are kicking my ass on the culture, though. I got you on science and money, but... Oh, there it is. The Petra. Oh, that's Get right. Get an additional yeah. trade route slot, and a caravan appears in the city. So, all right. Yeah. You got better happiness, better culture. Uh, my culture sucks. I'm only at 19 culture a turn. What the hell am I doing wrong? Wow, only at 19? Yeah. Marrakech must have some serious shit in there. Marrakech gives me plus 18 culture a turn. Of course, I also did just put the Writer's Guild in there, so plus 6 is coming from two of my writers. So oh, and my, my Writer's Guild is finishing up next turn. So that'll help me. Come on, Hong Kong, fuck up them boats. City connection. Okay, so I'll just look it up. University. Thank God you guys are constructing trade posts everywhere. I don't know what else, what I would do without you. What Jesus. happens when they're all... Automated? <laughs> well, go they're automated inside of a city that's gold-focused. Now, I can't afford to bring them in. Not for a while, not until I get through some of these national wonders. Natural wonder is not going to happen until we get astronomy. Ooh, speaking of which, I oh. need to send my trireme back home. Okay, might actually be worth it. Hmm. So I just looked up uh, city connections, ultimately what they do, and it seems that depending on the population of the city and the population of the capital, 
you'll get a certain income bonus based on the population levels of the connection. So this one right here, I guess. City population times 1.1 1 .1 plus capital population times 0.15 minus 1 for each city connected to the capital, not including the capital. Machu Picchu wonder increases modifier by 25%. So city population times 1.3 instead of 1.1. 1 .1. Arabia gets a constant or increases the constant by one. So, so it sounds like I should take control of my workers and build me some roads. Yep. But the one thing it was saying is each road costs one gold per turn. Yeah. I'm distracted by that. Well, you're my trade capital. Plop down the East Indian Trading Company. It looks like uh, Pimoac is going to win for my trading capital. Well, it has more available trade routes than Go Shoot. Nah. Uh. And since Timoac will be central, um, it's likely I'll be able to trade with other civilizations once we find them. Question is, is are you on the Atlantic side or the Pacific side? That's a good question. We will find out soon. Ah, oh, damn it. That might be out of date. All right, I'm taking one for the team, man. <laughs> Thanks for being a champ. I'll always remember random pathfinder number seven. <laughs> he fought bravely, trying to get better weapons that he didn't deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to go shoot and take a nap. Continue back home. But now the camp is dead. Much appreciated. Two horsemen might learn how to reproduce, though, so I don't know how long this piece will last. Well, I got a horse that I'm healing up right now after that's done I'll be sending him over of course the question <clears throat> is are they really going to stay on the island or are they going to I don't think they don't have play. um uh I don't think they can Embark. go over water yeah Shoot to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And next turn. Uh, this is the important time of the game. A lot of decisions here matter, but there's also kind of the boring part of the game really not a whole lot going on uh, you're just I mean 
Don't get me wrong, I, I used to live for this part of the game. And now I must kill! The urge to kill is growing! I mean, it really is. Infrastructure is important. So I don't know if you want to tap into... I have a road coming out of Casablanca. It's kind of close to the road coming out of Marrakech. I don't know. It's... I'm just thinking if there was a way to use the existing roads that he had built. Uh, I have want, no problem with that. You want assistance with that barbarian? Nah, I should be fine. Okay. And I will take a nap. <clears throat> so open tech tree. <laughs> Seven turns. We're going to be in the Renaissance era and have no idea how to make swords. <laughs> Who needs swords? I I have pokey things on the end of sticks that I shoot at people. <laughs> like how fast were crossbows able to fire? Well, not like the speed of the projectile. Um. I want to say they get up to like 90 miles per hour, but I'm starting to hesitate on that. That camp is most assuredly my problem. Goodbye, Notre Dame. So someone's getting close. Um, Notre Dame is physics, so we may not be the first ones into the Renaissance era, but if we're not, we're gonna be just a few turns behind. Oh, hey, that barbarian camp came back. That one? Ah, that one. Go to sleep. Go shoot. Give me university. Love me some science. I'm going to take a leak. I'll be right back. I hate it when I don't see the little light blink.
These barbarians sure have been real fucking active lately. Who knew that barbarian campments had a quota? I mean, I know we want this behavior, it's just... Damn. Ah. Uh. Well, at least it keeps us active too while we're waiting on uh, Deep Sea and our next conquest. Yeah. Go the road. This is a first. I'm actually uh, retaking over my workers after automating them all. I don't think I've ever done that before. Yeah, well, well that no, just I is, guess... you, you yeah. see them putting down trade posts everywhere, and it's like, eh. I suppose it's, it wasn't even really necessarily that, because I, I have done it before with, um, um, that is your barb camp. Like, when yeah. you get to, like, coal or whatever, you're like, nope. Everybody stop! <laughs> Where's the call? Romeo's crying! <laughs> yeah, no. That is true. Plus three production to all coastal cities. Uh, oh, shit. You got there quick. Well, you are the cultural powerhouse amongst us. And you did get a lot of wonders, too. That's one thing. You, you probably got, like, four or five ancient works I actually only got two I think but yeah I know I got four wonders and yeah I know I only got two because I'm at tourism four so plus you got all those free wonders in a uh, Marrakech so yeah. I guess the difference in culture isn't isn't that alarming? No, oh, I totally forgot about that one. It does feel like my culture should be higher, though. So your workers building a road out to Nobama? Yeah. Okay. And I got a road coming up from Marrakech pretty much following the path that they laid down. So we'll have a one separation from where I intend the road to be to connect to Casablanca. Figured we do that too. Okay. Even though I don't think connecting to other civilizations matters on that front. It doesn't, but it's probably the most cost-effective way to get everything on the Empire. And another one. I can help with this one if you want. Of course, you have a bunch of units nearby, too. It has been real. Huh? So we might have been. Yeah, I think we're the first ones. Yeah, Renaissance era. I'm gonna go spy on psionics. You have <laughs> astronomy. He's secretly jerking off in the bushes. I'm gonna go influence Hong Kong. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot we could do that. Go to Cahokia. Trade route. And I need another trade route and go shoot, so. Three caravels ready to explore. Wait, 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 what? I was sending my trireme back to Alundi, but apparently I forgot that I wasn't sending them back to Alundi. Oh, so, you put them on Explorer or whatever? I think I was sending them down south just in case the barbarians decided to embark. Hmm. Oh, Goshu can trade with Hong Kong. Uh, I might want to trade with Leventa. I think that's probably safer. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole lot of bad that can go wrong between here and Hong Kong. Ah, come on, guy. What's the worst that could happen? But yeah. Now that we are no longer deep water isolated. Of course, I guess once we're done with navigation, we might as well drill the printing press and see if we can get the World Congress. I'm less optimistic that we'll get that. Just because that as soon true. as I meet anybody, they've met everybody. That is true. <clears throat> but it is the combination of meet everybody and have the printing press. True. And... The fact is, as soon as I find someone, since we were the first ones to hit the Renaissance, we're probably going to get hit with all the spies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, we're most definitely going to want to do counter intelligence in capitals. Of course, to be fair, just about the only thing they're probably going to be able to steal from us is more late game stuff, which should take a second. Yeah, the only thing they're going to be able to steal from us is going to be navigation. Which uh, is it is where for us, you know, how long should it really take to steal swordsmen? Like, I feel like that should just be a matter of, like, opening well, a that's book. Just, <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. That's always been my biggest issue with this game is, like, if you have something that's that far back technologically, you think you get the equivalent of a elementary school, you know, science book or something like that. It's like, 
If you add carbon to iron, it turns into steel. What? Oh. <laughs> exciting and let's hope all our warmongering has worn off well, it's not like anybody's alive to talk about it <laughs> what are you talking about uh, Casablanca, Fez we named those with a, an internet poll so our leaders were having a dream, a prophetic dream about what we should name. Now, I understand what you're thinking. I got Alundi, I got Ungun Gun, and I got Obama. But Marrakech, that totally sounds Zulu. Howdy, Vilnus. Uh, it's yours. Porcelain and Wales. I want both of those. Me and Kenny don't give two shits about dumb ass whales. But now we're going to start getting, uh. Vilnus has become wary at a nearby camp. You're kind of on your own there, Mil Vilnus. <laughs> Are you going to call Milnus or Milton? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I was going to call him, but... I was going to start with an M. And there goes a Chinese cargo ship. That'll lead me straight to... Our next civilization. I was gonna say, actually, this is gonna be an interesting time for you because it looks like you're the Pacific end, so you should be able to initiate trades where it looks like I'm too far away. Yeah, and that's the barbarian camp I was worried about for trading with Hong Kong. Which one? Uh, that showed up South America. Oh. So, China, how are you? Would you like an embassy? Actually, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Whoa. Hmm. Just watching the map change to show how far away it is from us. You have spices. I have salt. I was totally about to yoink him out from under. <laughs> I need a little bit of buffer with my... Uh, um, my happiness. I'm at nine. I'm, oh, I'm not sure where you are at. Natural wonder returns El Dorado. Yeah, why not? But yeah, no, that doesn't make sense, dude. Cause, oh, I guess it does. Hmm. I thought there wasn't any, uh, place to the south so i wasn't sure why you were worried about that barbarian encampment but i just you know took a double check and it's like nope there's a little bit of split in the no yep, no there is trade possible with hong kong for me it's technically better than Leventa, but that's no man's land down there if i'm gonna do that trade route i'm gonna put someone there permanently mm-hmm 
Plunder discovered for Leventa. And for those of you who don't know, China is to be feared around this age. Oh, yeah. Ch Choku news. Choku news can wreck everything. Right. Eight turns to rigging an election. I feel like I can probably rig an election and then get home before China can steal technology. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Lundy. I'm going straight up counterintelligence. So, I'll go ahead and build one more road out into this forest, so you have something to hook up to. I was just given two free crossbowmen. Oh, nice. So yeah, right where my horses are at, I'm going to be building a road going up to there all right yeah i'm gonna build a road to you the left of your horses and i'm assuming you're gonna go up to alundi with your other road well i actually i'm thinking about using pretty much northeast of where my uh, horse is at right now as sort of the crossroads area so i'll probably go up to where the horses are at and they go up right one I'm bringing roads down to the forest across the river and then shoot directly left. And then probably near the top left area, I'll be building a road up to the one near Umgun. So that'll connect everything. And most of the road space should not be using it or be going straight into a city unless it's an end point. So neither of us will have to worry about running or, you know, going there then I have to get off the road because of a city. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, no. All my roads are going through cities. <clears throat> and there it is. First renaissance that ain't us. All right, I am now allies with Leventa. And a great profit. Fuck it, let's find a religion. All right. You know, Taoism didn't get good enough chance last time. Heal. I really only need a... Interesting. Okay. It's kind of a dumb city. Hmm. Uh, I just found a... A Chinese city. Uh, Macau. Yeah. It's just a dumb city. Okay. Um. Do you need any help with the road? Um. I mean, I guess I could use a little bit of help, but it's not a hard push. <laughs> Founded Taoism at 1020 AD. Hmm. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, depending on where your workers are at or whatnot, if you want to go take the, like the one that's building the road to the right, if you want to just go up to that hill, maybe down one because you got both the pyramids and the um yeah you got both the pyramids and liberty so you'll be 75 percent faster than me sorry um where do you want me to build how many workers are you putting up for this uh i have one next to your horseman right now and i'm sending another one back so the one to the right, build a road onto the grassland hills and then build it upright to square. So directly, well, directly. Um, to the mountain? No, not to the mountain, but one, or too shy of it. Uh, so right where my horsemen are at. Okay, I can do that. All right, a gate guy. What do I want you to do? Do not want you to do the East India Trading Company. You're not that useful as a trader. Mm. I guess a backup harbor wouldn't be bad in case Timoak ever gets um, embargoed. Embargoed, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ooh, I can adopt rationalism. Oh, oh. But plus three production in all coastal cities. Plus ten happiness while the empire is happy. What do you do? I'm going to adopt rationalism. I want that 10% extra happiness. Or er, science. Well, happy. Happy, 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 happy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm at, I'm at 127 science now. Ah, oh, finishing. What are you doing? Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? I'm at 127 happiness. Or er, science. Oh. 127 <laughs> happiness? <laughs> Why are you burning down cities? <laughs> no, I was just taking a look at Macau and I was like, why do you still have composites, dude? Well, the one person that did, she is at the bottom of the list, so. Oh. Um, yeah, she's not no. very impressive. I don't think her frigates are going to care about her <laughs> choke news. Right. Near road. Playing those barbs. And Jing. So, unfortunately, her capital is not coastal, but Nanjing will be easy enough to take with frigates. I was going to say, Nanjing, I think, is her second or third city. At and 11 population, it's probably its second. And we'll have a road straight to it, so. Yeah, no, that's a good uh, staging area. Looks like she might be the only one on this end of the world. Maybe she's geographically isolated as well. Generally speaking, if you don't have anybody to talk to, you tend to hit the bottom of the list. I don't know, man. That's a pretty big, or at least long, landmass. Honestly, I was surprised there were only three of us on our landmass. Alright, there's a road. Lovely. I 
Next team on. Between us, so I guess it's a race. Runners. Uh, there's a barb camp that showed up south of Obama. Uh, and I just got done moving those. Sedone wants a trade route, okay. Turns to ringing election. <clears throat> and now this is exciting. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess we have hit the Renaissance era first before. On a mortal. Yeah. Fairly like rare, I, I, though. Like, I think when we get this type of situation, when we get our own private continent and we can clear it, I think we usually hit the Renaissance era first. But unfortunately, the dude that probably hit the Renaissance era second almost certainly didn't drill. Mm -hmm. And there's third person hitting the Renaissance era. So maybe defensive spies won't be that big a deal. Galleus. All right, most Kani. So surprised I haven't built an amphitheater yet. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. I knew that was written in 1050 AD. <laughs> oh, looks like China's an expansive little critter. Jian? Yeah. I mean, we all know that the Shoshone first circumnavigated the globe and you know, 1060 AD. <laughs> of course, there's another one on that stupid little island. Ah. Holes. Cashmere. How about an embassy? I'm yoinking his ivories, though. Yeah, I, I got the, the spices. I think that's only fair. I don't really want to start selling luxuries until I find the rest of these assholes. Okay, Warsaw, and he has the... He has the Great Wall of China. Because as we all know... Uh, yeah. The Polish built the Great Wall of China. Doesn't I look mean, like he has any coastal cities, though, so we're not going to have a... But he's on the opposite end of the continent from China. Poland is not going to be a fun nut to crack.
China has announced it's protecting Budapest. Good for China. Okay. So this is a tall continent, but it may very well be a narrow one. They got barbarians rampant across the southern end of this place. Staying in the deep water so I don't get the Rona, man. Just because China's on the continent. Okay, so, yeah, this, this may be a two-person landmass, I'm not sure. Huh? Ah, starting to get close to coast. Head out and sail east. How far? Just keep going. <laughs> Once you run out of food, just remember to cannibalize. And China just is so... how... Everyone's in the Renaissance era now. I was gonna say, I think that's everyone. And four turns, navigation. Uh, someone wants a trade route. Sedone wants a trade route. Timo to Sedone. Our city states are coastal with the exception of Malacca. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if I want to keep this one land trade route just well no because the trade quest will never come up if I just keep trading with him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do I have any decent land trade routes? No, I don't have any decent land trade routes. Oh, huh? No northern passage. I got a great profit. I mean, did you get anything nifty with your religion? I got monasteries. It was the last religious building. Fuck. Doesn't get much. I mean, hard to argue with that. I... Ah, go shoot. It's running out of shit to build. Nah. 
thing is, is if China's going to trade with me, China's going to trade with, well, Timo or Geika. But they have other shit to build. But still, building a East India trading company. Um, 26 turns. Yeah. I'm going to be able to build the uh, Oxford University soon, too. I'm actually going to start on Oxford University. Okay, so that one worker that you just moved, I'm assuming just moved to the southeast of uh, my horseman. Yeah. Um, have him build a road just straight down this line connecting to the mine. Okay. Thank you. And please. <laughs> How's your money doing? Good. I'm still tw plus 21. 21 gold a turn. I mean... I don't want to pay for all the road, but... Well, that just is. Right now, it's a mixture, more of, from my perspective, of efficiency, because you are able to build faster, but yeah. I'm feeling a bit like a dick, but I give you two cities. Do what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I sacrificed two super archers for you. Hey, just because you deployed them in... Well, you didn't deploy them inappropriately. You just decided you didn't want to retreat for some reason. That's not on me. Yeah, that is fair. Road, move back to automate. Uh, doesn't look like we're looking in the same area, so. And I just found the English and the Arabs. Kind of. Have you done any trading with them yet? No, I've only found their units, but it's not saying that I've met them. Uh, you've met... It says you've met the Arabs. Oh. Huh, why isn't it showing up at the bottom? He has a lot, dude. Two citrus, two silk, and five silver. Ooh, neat. It's got a lot of money too. I'm taking one of his silvers for coca. Hmm. Take one of his silver for sugar. Uh, I guess we can split the difference between silk and citrus. Which one do you want? I'll take the citrus. I want me to be a flavorful nation. Okay. Sugar, salt, coca, and sugar. And we could do it all on silver plates. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the one of these guys that can actually buy any of these luxuries already has a shit ton of luxuries. Mm-hmm. Huh. I have completed Sigurd's Rugurugusa Essays in Idleness. That seems appropriate considering what's been going on for the last 500 years. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have to ponder. You know what? It's entirely possible they haven't met China and Poland. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now so Haran is at the question. bottom of the food chain. Okay. So the guy with the money and the luxuries isn't the one who's kicking ass and taking names. Nope. Hello, Elizabeth. Are you the virgin? And she has nothing to trade, and she is poor as shit. 
One gold, one gold per turn, one full, one fur, one silver or silk. Oh, God, useless. Well, I'll let you trade for the embassy. Traded. Yeah, no, it looks like they're on their own little continent. So there's three continents in this. Wow. So odds we, I mean, we got a long ways to go to get printing press, but right, who wanted a trade route? Sedone wanted a trade route. The best to Sedone is go Timo to Sedone. So I need to. All of a sudden, I'm really glad that I just decided to beeline it to the east. Yeah. Of course, I think they're way too far away for me to trade with. Mm. Nope, I can reach Nottingham. Oh, she damn. has five technologies that we do not have, and we have one. Soon to be two technologies she does not have. Yeah, I can trade with uh, China, too. She's got five texts that we do not know. Well, let's see. If I were to take a stab in the dark about the five texts, <laughs> I'm going to say ironworking, metal casting, physics, steel, and chivalry. You know, j just a stab in the dark. Yeah, I'm not sure where you get those texts from, but, you know, you, you, you sound confident. I, I'm inclined to believe you. <laughs> Sometimes you just have this... You just know... And Rashid has just hit the Renaissance era, so we were short by one. Some people love me because of citrus, some people love me because of silver. Yeah, no, I had a. Belgrade is looking for help in their war with Poland. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, they declared Poland. war on a city state? Looks like it. Wow. I, I thought mean, you had to be human to be that silly. Let me see. Global politics. Doesn't look you like know, anyone's at war with each other. No, just with the city state. But no, I think it would say. Yeah, no, it would say Poland's at war with the city state. Huh. So we need to beware of Kashmir, actually, since he has four. Uh, for policy oh and he has most great library great wall statues oh he stole the Z statue of zeus from me the bastard so the great wall the statue of zeus he's he's inclined for war and elizabeth built the great lighthouse meaning her man of wars could be quite scary if she makes enough of them oh yeah right, i gotta take a leak up here back So, what did I miss? Nothing of note. We need to 
decide what to research next, though, obviously. Naturally. Alright, so we got... Timoak to Xeon. Timoak to Nanjing. I'm gonna double up on this shit right now. Hard to argue so. with that science per turn. And, you know, might as well establish good relations with uh, China. So, yeah, no, I'm thinking we do go for printing press. Because the fact that it's possible one of them's done astronomy, but the fact, well, I guess we've mitigated some of the exploration since we found them. But the fact that we had to literally, like, go off in one direction, I'm not exactly sure about the exploration uh, logic behind computers, so... Yeah, no, I'm I'm good to drill printing press. I'm totally okay with that. Um, I just picked it, so. No, it's looking like um. It's looking like it might just be Poland and China on this continent, and if that's the case, we could get the World Congress, and mm -hmm. we have enough. Um city-states on our home continent that we can work to keep happy that we should have a fair amount of votes consistently yeah though i think i, I just blew my wad and spent a shit ton of money though <clears throat> but we should be picking up these technologies so goddamn fast. That was a bad decision. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back to this camp. Become the first frigate in my navy. <clears throat> well, um, I'm still manually controlling one of my caravels but I might put the other two on automate just because they're all the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I need to send something over the direction you went to help map out that continent. Well, that's just is at this point. Yeah, I mean, have one or two that you manually control, but the rest I would just put on explore because some are going to be too far away to be useful on this exploration like the only one that's really going to be useful for continued exploration is the one that's next to iffy i don't know where your other two are at but uh one just went home for repairs he'll be in um he'll be in dock for a turn Go shoot to Hong Kong, go shoot to Hokia. Mm, go shoot's back on the top of the list for most valuable trade routes. Okay. Go back to go okay. shoot then. Oh, that's right. I decided not to trade with Nottingham. <clears throat> you didn't want the science? Well, I'm just thinking, because right now, partially, you know, spread my religion, A, but I'm thinking about, eh, no, because you're right, trading, well, not exactly not trading with, uh, yeah, let them ask for a trade route, so yeah. Well, the two thoughts I was having is, A, I'm not, we don't, we, the 
trade routes to um No, 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 no. What you doing? I told you to. Looks like I'm going to lose Ormus. That's all right. And see, that's where I'm a little tempted right now because both Hong Kong and Ormus are asking for money, and I'm doing fairly well with both of them. So I was thinking maybe give them 500 gold apiece, and that should... Well, um, now's the time to take Ormus because I'm about to lose my alliance with Ormus. Don't forget to pledge to protect so the the your stuff doesn't degrade quite so fast. That's not how it works. During protection, your resting point of influence with this city-state is increased by 5. Protection cannot be revoked with 10 turns. So it doesn't lower the rate that you lose it. It just makes it to where you rest at a higher point. Gotcha. Right, so, oh, there's Catherine. Is she on the same continent with him? And she has five truffles. Yes, yeah, she does. Well, I'll trade cocoa for her truffle. Yeah. We'll do sugar for truffles. God damn. I'm at 45 happiness. I'm at 19. I think that's the best I've ever done on the happiness tier. Well, you do have a lot of the city states. How much do you get from these guys are from happiness city states again? It's plus six, I think. No, four per luxury. So I'm getting six happiness from city states. So I got Alliance with Leventa. Yeah, no. I think 45 is pretty close to the Six highest years. happiness I've ever had on a Six happiness scale. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. So well, Catherine I'm rigging it. is Sorry. with the English and with the uh, Arabs. Warsaw and Ch Beijing are on the same. The no. They are not on the same continent. Who isn't? Oh, the yeah. Computers. These yeah. So they probably haven't met China or Poland. Yeah. Now, to be fair, we're pushing it just a smidge because. I don't know. Because metal casting two turns, chivalry nine turns, physics nine turns, printing press 17 turns. And I think once we get there at the same time, that's still going to lower the research cost. So we might actually have the printing press in the next 30 turns. Yeah. Plus, I got my Oxford University coming out in 24 turns for uh, an opportune Hey, look, there's some ancient ruins over here. Build yourself another one and send them over. Got to go trade with Saddam. God damn it, I keep forgetting to do that. I'm an idiot. I mean, uh, of Oxford University done in 11 turns. God damn, your production's great. Are you on production focus? Uh, do, 
do, do. Nope. Default. My capital's production is 35.65. Gold is 81.79, and science is 66.96. You double my production. I'm at 53 so, science for my capital, though. For those of you who don't know, this is why when you take a capital, you end up destroying a civilization. If I lose 66 gold a turn, that halves my science. If I lose my gold per turn, that I would be at negative 50 gold a turn. And losing the production would be sad, obviously, but yeah. Alright. You may be wondering what I'm doing with this frigate. I'm going to send him barb hunting. Because those are free level ups. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Yep, no, your production is quite a bit better than my production. I'm only barely edging you on science and gold. And honestly, when this, when the Great Highway is done, you might be beating me on gold. Well, and that's the big question, too, like when it comes to these no land land roads. I mean, you had to pay for the production of them. But will I start incurring some of the costs once they start obviously becoming part of my empire, or...? I'm not sure. Send this guy down. Oh yeah, this is, they are definitely separate continents. Unless it's some sort of buddy arch, there's no fucking way. I was gonna say, come on, aren't you supposed to, are we supposed to, you know, um, I don't, I forgot what it was called now. When they had the, uh, when they were talking about uh, evolution and how we got Native Americans, the great, uh, Ice mass that connected. Oh, the Russia, I forget what it's called. Bering Strait. Well, that, I know it's called the Bering Strait, but there was something they called it when the ice connected it, and that's how, you know, tribes of people following the mammoth herds or whatever <clears throat> kept going east. Yeah. So it looks like Genoa is pretty much on his own little island with a few other city states. Oh, and you know, that actually might be the other sort of boon that I'm getting from, uh, for my capital. I mean, maybe not so much, but it's that, uh, plus three production for being a coastal city. Oh, that's right. I opted for the, uh, the science on my last policy, which has only slightly kept my science higher than you. I probably should have just gone for the production. But that wouldn't have affected my capital in either case. Yeah. You have a barb camp in the middle of your shit. Oh, you have a crossbowman right there. Never mind, mm -hmm. you see it. <laughs> I do. Thanks for making sure, because I've already missed two and let them sit for a while. Well, probably more than two. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's um let's turn you off on automation. Explore you head up north. Hey look. Free experience points. Now, this is kind of a funny roadway, too, just because I have a road between my three main cities, and then the rest of it will have a road. Mm -hmm. I 
go ahead and uh, let's see. That's unnecessary, actually. Yeah, don't, I think I'm going to be going ham on these uh, uh, workshops. Not sure why my production's struggling so much, but. So, anyways, um. How much longer you want to keep going tonight? Let's at least getting the print. Let's at, let's at least get the printing press. Okay. Barbie encampment south of you. Hey, look! There's two over here. You have like a at least a sixty-six percent chance of getting a composite bowman. You know, if I set my frigate over there and just start blasting, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth it at this point, but. Ah, we are building up these. We are founding all these techs real fast. Mm hmm. Wu Zedian has four techs that you do not have. And next turn, that'll be three. Okay. has election shenanigans. That was me. Thank you, yeah. So Catherine's the big meanie, Elizabeth is the second, and the other three don't really matter. Yeah, the other three, I mean, technically you're beating the other three by yourself. That is true, but it's part of the issue I have with this game is they put too much of, a, uh, too much of an emphasis on the benefits of having a religion. They do, but yeah, I can't imagine Kashmir is going to have anything we give a fuck about. I'm going to go to Moscow, uh, take a look around, see if I can't find a textbook or something. I don't know, man. I would still recommend going defensive. I mean, I guess we do have a couple of texts China doesn't have. And they're higher tier ch or text too. Yeah, you're you're right. I'll I'll redirect back to Mosin Kani. Well, and it's just one of those things that like at the very beginning when you have spies, even if you only have a few texts, it seems like there's always a bias to go after the human players first. So yeah, no, I like if I all of a sudden get a or get special agent or whatnot or. If it's too long, then I'll shift, but... Yeah. Thus far, in my experience, it's always better to go defensive first. And I guess we actually do have technology we want to keep secret. Mm-hmm. But I can't trade with any of those guys over there, so no, I don't... Can I? Oh, okay. Well, I can trade with England. Maybe I'll find another city because I spent a little time checking out the this island real quick just so I didn't have to worry about it. Gotcha. So. Okay. Yeah, because as it stands right now, um, we have no idea where they are technologically. Another quick check. Nope, we've already pretty much caught up with Elizabeth. We're down to two technologies she has not discovered, but we're only at one technology she hasn't discovered. So that means that she at least has astronomy. 
Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised because of her racial bonus or racial unit if she wasn't going straight for navigation. Uh, okay, so it's a race. She has to build and find and I mean, honestly, finding Warsaw, like, he doesn't have coastal cities. Like, yeah. I, I think we got this in the bag. I don't think there's a chance in hell anyone else is going to find Warsaw anytime soon. Because I had to go into that little inlet to find his ass. Well, no, I actually found, uh, I saw one of his units. That's what happened. That's right. Yeah. Leventa... Do I want to spend the money to get Leventa back? No, I don't think so. I think I want to save my money. Yeah, I was going to say, it's still a little too early to put a focus on that, because that first... Um, I guess I better do this to... Because the first Congress, um, the city-states don't count. No, it's whoever gets deemed the first. So go to your worker south of Umgun real quick, please. Yeah. Is he going to be working on a road on that tile that he's on? Yeah, I can move him up next turn, though. Yeah, move him up one. I'll take care of that little bit of road. You know, take at least... Well, I can't do it till next turn, but... Well, I... yeah, I'm just... As a note. Yeah, no problem. I was either going to ask you to move him forward or just double check so I can move around, but might as well save myself a turn or two or three turns. Not Hajime Castle. Uh, you're, what's that, 146 Actually, science, that, uh... 35 money. Uh, where what is allows him? for Hajime Castle? Oh, it's, uh, no? That's gunpowder. So she's in gunpowder for her first, then. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. That is very much your problem. I'm going to put you on E, my caravel, and you, my other caravel, we are going to prove the world is round. <clears throat> Stupid ice caps. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we can at least get through the southern end of our continent, which isn't bad. But the northern end of this little bitch continent over here that China and Poland share. Yeah, I know. So I was looking at the map real quick, and it's like, it looks like there should be a way to cut through. So I decided to take a quick look. A golden age. Which is going to be unfortunate if we ever need to... Because it looks like all of their capitals, um, the so Mecca's coastal, London's coastal, so those two will be easy. Beijing shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, no, getting in a position to fight um, London and Mecca. So I'm running, I'm running out of things to make. So, are in uh, Marrakech. So, in about seven turns. <laughs> well, I might have to make a castle after this, but 
he's ultimately going to be working on like wealth or research production for the next little while. Doesn't look like, uh, yes, it is really good production there. Well, the thing that just dawned on, oh, what? No, 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 no. Actually. Yeah. So because of Petra, I get plus one food and plus one production per. So building a farm on top of those hills will give me two food, three production. Or do I go for four production and one food? I mean... He's at 50 production, and he's at 7 food. I mean, more food would help him grow, but I don't know. I mean, that's going to be a wonder city. Like, you're going to be able to just shit out world wonders there, man. Uh. I need to... Where the fuck are all my workers? Hmm. I know where that one is. Um... See, I'm half tempted to do the food because outside of the wheat, he's actually pretty sore on food. Yeah, no, I think I will do farms on those. Right. Damn, technically, that city actually has more production than mine, or than my capital. My capital does better on science and gold, but I'm assuming part of that gold is coming from the trade routes. You know, all things considered, that Marrakech is actually a really good city. Yeah. I mean... Like I said, right now, my only big complaint is it's not coastal. I probably actually stole Machu Picchu from him. So, three more roads need to be done, and that'll finish that. And if you want to build a great highway connecting to your stuff, I guess I can use some of my workers to help out on that, because there's only a few things left for me to really work on. Yeah, um... I'm not 100% sure if I want, I mean, connecting to the highway would, uh, would be a great backup, if nothing else. Um, well, the fact is, is right now, Casablanca and Fez, even though they have roads, unless they're connected. Oh, they are, they are connected. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, a harbor in Goshu, so... So it would just be it would be a backup road for go shoot, really. And honestly, I think the best way to do that Yeah, that would tick your mind off aesthetically, but it's in my territory, so maybe you won't care. So I was gonna say we, we I have... can build a road. If you want it to where you could actually run through, I could build a road northeast of Nobama. And build it up a couple, uh, up a couple, then just go directly west over the iron to Mosinconi. And then that would give us a roundabout connection. Yeah, I could get behind that. It would give us, it would give us a backup. None of the roads are coastal, right? Because nope. you can, and, oh, I do have one road that's coastal. That was dumb. Mm. Um, if there's a ship there, they can block that road. Yeah. That that's all. Got um, it. I kind of goofed on that one. I shouldn't have put a road there. I should have put it over the hill. But I can fix that. So, my Oxford is gonna be done in one turn. Do I burn it so we can have the printing press in less than eight turns? 
Honestly, right honestly, now, I don't awful. think any. I don't think um, England has a chance in hell that they found China or Poland. So, I would go for banking then, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go for the Forbidden Palace. I mean, you do have a a wonder a produced. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And let's isn't Leaning Tower a pizza? I, that that might be rationalism only. It uh, doesn't say that needs rationalism. Mm -hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> Porcelain Tower is the one that you get for rationalism. Got it. Well, at least you get one great benefit from having unlocked exploration, though. Adopting exploration gives plus one movement speed for naval and plus one sight for naval. Naval. Yeah, no, that is really useful. So, no arguments. I'm doing banking. Okay, no arguments. Oh, that was a quest for Cahokia. You're welcome. No, that I needed that influence. I didn't know. You 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 couldn't have known, but Oh. I'm not allies with them though. No, I'm allies with them. I've been struggling to maintain my allyship with them. Oh, but if we're because if you're still allies with them, you're going to stay allies with them. The one thing I cheated you on, but I think it might not. Have it was been extra more. influence that it just would have mean a longer time before. No, no, I get that. I'm saying I think the thing I cheated you on is because I don't want barbarian encampments to survive. Once you killed the our, our unit and I took it and that gave me influence with Chokia. Yeah, that's it. My bad. No, I didn't know it. There's no way you could have known it. It was just unfortunate. Port. Okay, now I'm curious. Ah. Forbidden Palace requires patronage. Wah, wah. Ow. Or finishing the um Pika design. Wu Zedian has three texts that you do not know. You have discovered two texts that Wu Zedian does not know. <clears throat> I mean, for the time being, it's still beneficial to trade with her and get that free science. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. Maybe that should have been our ding. We're getting a follower <laughs> or whatever. I couldn't find that clip. <laughs> I actually went looking for red versus blue sound bites and getting some that were easily downloadable. Well, no, I didn't even find any that were downloadable. Honestly, it was, uh, it was just. I uh I had to record it and yeah. steal it. You shouldn't be admitting to that. I mean I own every single red versus blue DVD ever of all time. I feel like I've earned the right to use that fucking soundbite. Oh, no, 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 no. 
to there. Of course, the folks at Rooster Teeth may disagree with me, but nobody who I give a shit works at Rooster Teeth anymore because they fired Caboose and they can get fucked. Curse, how do you fire Caboose? I don't know. But he does not like the Caboose character, so you're going to have to build at least three roads going straight east from Mos and Connie, just as a heads up. No, I, I will. No, same with him getting rid of the voice actor who did Crow. So annoyed about that. I mean, I wasn't quite as attached to Crow as I was to Caboose, but... Yeah, same here, but still, it's the continuity aspect. <laughs> Guess that makes me a bad ally. But to be fair, I was never an ally, so... Yeah. Well, for me... Integrity of story is more important than someone's fifis. Mm -hmm. Zulu is no longer ally of Hong Kong. Wow, so. barbarians are fucking active on the. Well, if this is the same landmass. Mecca and Elizabeth are not doing good on keeping their barbarians in check. No, they're not. Russia's denouncing England. England's denouncing Russia. Sounds like we may have a war on our hands. Uh-huh. That could be tasty. Deliciously so. So now that all the roads are done and whatnot, I think I just jumped in something like 30 some odd gold a turn. I'm at plus 63 gold a turn. 69. What's your science? 153. 163. <laughs> I'm still winning. But you've also built every rationally. single building ever of all time. <laughs> so I'm going to take just in one or two cities. Great Mesa. Of course, the, that, that's the other one that we always want. The Behringer Crater. That's like plus five gold a turn, plus two gold. Yeah. Well, um, looks like this spit of land moves up into the north into no man's land. Uh, yeah, I, very clearly I can't cut through left of Mecca. I'm going to hit a, a bay. And they have caravels too. Well, they should have printing press in three turns. <clears throat> like I said, I seriously fucking doubt that. Um, stop automation. You need to go to that hill. Like, I, I seriously fucking doubt that uh, they've met Poland. Um, mm -hmm. Poland's not easy to spot. That's uh, not my problem. Yeah, no, this is where honor becomes more a pain in the ass than it used to be. Yeah. Right. I think it'll be right back. Oh. 
You head that way, my worker. We have a road to fix. Huh. Guess, uh... Ooh. This is the hard decision. Sentry or mobility? I always struggle with this one when it comes to boats. For now, mobility. I was However, gonna say, I'm, barn. I'm partially thinking sentry, but that's just so you can be ready for when you have range three. And to be fair, you only need one or two boats with sentry. Yeah. Can you shoot Hokia? Alright, this do I have any trade quests I can capitalize on? So we have one technology Elizabeth doesn't have. They have zero technologies we have. So we've caught up. Mm hmm Hey, what do you know? I was kinda right. <laughs> um China is two and two. And I imagine printing press is gonna change that number. Next turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were at war. I wonder why it wasn't popping up. That's just a city-state. I know, but still, when they're at war with city-states, that usually pops up. But of course, it's usually in connection with them being at war with a civilization. Typically. Still getting XP right for this? Nope, no XP, just culture. Okay. Well, I'm um, thinking doing windmill or economics next might be good. Well, eh, now let's do the opera house. So I got eight turns until my uh, um. Oxford. Is My done. Oxford is done. So just look. I guess that means I would be using it on economics. Yeah. So I would say we tag team acoustics. That'll be done in like four turns, and then using that on either economics or architecture. Oh, you haven't clicked on acoustics yet. No. Eight turns. Okay. Um. All right, that should work. That means I finish uh, Oxford University in eight turns. You have. Okay. Does anyone have anything worth World a damn? Congress has not yet met yet. Not yet been founded. I'm assuming that's going to be fixed next turn. Uh. Looks like Karen has pearls. But I don't think I'd have to give up one of my uniques, but does anyone want pearls? Marble, ivory, citrus, marble. I, no, no one wants pearls. 
So that's not meaningful to do that. <clears throat> okay. Now is it the Shoshone or the Zulus that will host the first one? I mean, I think technically I found three, so it should be me, but... Well, actually, I could argue I met four, but that's because I met the now defunct... Hey, we don't uh, talk about Rockins. him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is the Shoshone. Yes! Boo. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do the old faithful of the world's fair. Nah, I figured you would. You could just put your fucking super city on it and <laughs> you know, twiddle my thumbs. Alright, well, um Gonna go pee. Each natural wonder provides plus five culture when worked. That oh, that doesn't help me. It, well, it helped both of us. Well, I only have one natural wonder in my board. Oh, yeah, it would help you. A f what does that do again? Uh, each natural wonder provides plus five culture when worked. Oh yeah, if I were you, I would totally do that. That Great Barrier Reef would just be That's beautiful. That's ten culture a turn right there. And I don't, I, I didn't, I should look, I don't think that's going to make anyone mad. That one's pretty tame. Yeah. And you know what? It would have been almost twice as good if you were the Spanish. <laughs> almost, except you found it first. No, I didn't. Oh, I did. You found the Great Barrier Reef. Not yeah, me. no, you're right. I did. And you would have had a, sink, a couple hundred gold just to try to get everything. Yeah, no, the only reason it worked as well as it did was because I was the Shoshone, and they just kind of took everything. That's your caravel. Yeah, no, we proved the world is round. Um, do you know if there's a way through the southern end? No, I started heading north. Okay. No, I got a frigate on the southern end that's not too far by. I'll just send him over. But, yeah, I think my caravel is so, Do you want to do one more turn, or do you want to end it now? I suppose now is a good time to call it. Unclick your end of turn thing so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, um, so... That was what is that was what seven hundred and eighty years of peace. Thereabouts, yeah. So and we haven't even up to a thousand, but we rounded up. Yeah, it, it may be close to a thousand years of peace because uh, it's going to take time to ramp up and build some boats. Yeah, um, I'm waiting. Well, I'm going to start putting out frigates next turn because Umgun is going to finish off his uh, uh, seaport. Nice. Might go out of my way to make a workshop. I mean, 14 turns for a frigate ain't bad, but... Yeah, my my, gig, my uh, production by, uh, by four wouldn't be bad either. Uh, looks like my uh, gig is 26 turns for a frigate. That is not ideal. It'll be... 19 turns for a frigate and go shoot. And my capital puts out a frigate every seven turns. Oh, God, why is your production always so much better than me? Because the RNG gods show you love in different ways? I guess. Anyways, um, I have money power, so I can buy things. But I, guess I got a workshop coming down in Agaika out in two turns. That's going to help with the, the frigate production. Um, then obviously we got the great highway for... Traversal. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, what is it? Still don't have a worker building the road, but. No, I do. 
I'm gonna it, it, since it's still. Oh, three, you're doing it up there. Well, it's still three whether I go straight out or I go down. Well, this one's gonna be. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see. What yeah, you're doing. and this way I don't get a a loop de loop. And you know how I feel about loop de loops. Yeah. I hate loop de loops. Yeah, I know. Part of the, like what I did in the road just southwest of Balundi is building the road over that river just so if I ever have to send a unit south like that, I don't have to worry about loss of movement because of the damn river. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And... Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I'll just ignore that. Most of the time I'm zoomed out and I won't see the, the loop-de-loop. So. There isn't a loop-de-loop -loop down there. The only the, loop-de-loop loop no that Obama exists has a loop -de -loop. Obama. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was talking about Alundi earlier. It's like, it, there's no... Yeah, no, no Obama, has, no Obama has a roundabout. Yeah, well, and I was going to tell you, it's going to piss you off aesthetically, but that'll make it to where we have it to where we can pretty much go from one side of the continent to the other purely on roads. Yeah. Now I kind of feel bad for Fez because you'll have to go around Fez. Eh. But I don't know if you have a whole lot of reason to go down there anyways. No, but it's not. And that just is having the option open. If anything, the only thing that pisses me off about Fez is when I have to get off the road, I'm going to have to cross a river. <laughs> yeah, it might be worth putting a road on that trading post just so you can bypass it entirely. Maybe uh, for the sake of your... friendship, I can accept a loop-de-loop. Well, anyways, we've been fapping about waiting to end this uh, for a minute. So, we're going to be uh, switching over to Remnant from the Ashes. We're going to continue our Immortal playthrough. Not Immortal. Um, our Nightmare, nightmare. playthrough. Because <laughs> things have been going entirely too well in Civilization Five, so we need to go punish ourselves with mm -hmm. flagellation. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to be cutting this stream for just a minute while I switch games. I know technically I don't have to, but I like to have two different VODs for Twitch. And maybe that'll change, maybe not. But for now, that's what we do. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, thank you for watching, and we will be right back. And if you're watching on YouTube, um, why don't you watch another video, man? It'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> we got anyway. a couple of them. Yeah, we got a few. Want to watch us get embarrassed? Watch our previous game where we got killed by our wreck because of Germany. Yeah, and it, it, ironically, at the end of it, they were the only ones at peace with us when we failed. Even though they weren't under peace agreement, I think they were just sort of laughing at us the whole time, though. <laughs> it was like Nelson in the car, and like. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a copyright strike right there. Uh, I don't, I'm sure I didn't have the pitch and inflection quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in the next stream and or video. Thank you, and good night.